Thank you for joining us on this Friday. I'm so glad you could be with us. And I trust you have had a good week. We're thankful for what God is doing here. We are in exciting days as we have, of course, Mother's Day this weekend. That's always a blessing. And that really begins all of our final week activities for Baptist College of Ministry. And there's always just a lot of blessing being being involved in all the different things that go on at this time of the year. It's a joy to see the young people finishing another step in their preparation for the work of the Lord. Today I'd like to encourage you from Psalm 3. Psalm 3, verse 2. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. I'm always amazed, stirred, anytime I read a passage that talks about God hearing us. When we think of the immensity of our God, just the universe itself, at times when I've studied the universe, I'm just, just beyond the ability to understand the vastness of it. When I think of the energy and the atomic structure of our world here, and the complexity of it and how it works and the energy that's in it, we realize, and I realize how great my God is. And to think that the God of the universe who spoke all of this by just his word into being, hears me and he hears you. He loves you and wants to meet your need. He died on the cross for you. And here David says, that he heard me out of his holy hill. And what he's rejoicing in is that God has been his protection, a shield for me, my glory and the lifter up of my head. I want to say just a couple of things about each of those categories. A shield for me. Right now, we have this sense that there is much going on that is negative in our country and around the world. And it's very easy for us to be a bit of a doomsayer about the future, and there's some merit to that. And yet we must focus on God, that he is our shield. He will protect us. We do not have to fear. And we need to understand that he goes before us and we are safe. That's important to get a hold of. But he's our glory even more than our protection. He's the reason for our living. He's what makes us important, not us, but the fact that we are in him and he is the glory of our life. He is what matters. And then he's the lifter up of mine head. He's the one that when I humble myself, he lifts me up and he allows me to accomplish everything that he has called me to accomplish. Now you think about that. When we cry out to him, he hears us in his holy hill. He will be our shield. He will be our buckler. He will also be our glory, the reason to live and to uh, shine through our lives, to make our lives worthwhile. And he'll lift us up, empower us to accomplish what needs to be done. No wonder David just had a song in his heart as he penned this under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. And it's in the context of, oh, how they are increased, verse 1, that trouble me. Many are they which rise up against me. But he's saying, I'm rejoicing, because even though that's the case, even though circumstances are not good, God's hearing me out of his holy hill. He is going to meet my every need. So today, I encourage you to take those thoughts inspired by the Holy Spirit through David, and let's get a hold of the fact that God hears us. He's listening to us, and he will do that for us if we'll trust him. There's no reason for us to be discouraged. We can be encouraged in the great God of the universe.